Now, sometimes we like to criticize or look down on the early Hebrews, especially for not understanding what God's plan was. But it is absolutely typical of man, then as now, to only believe God after the fact. No matter how many prophets God sent to Israel, very few Israelites ever believed what those men had to say <laughs> until after the consequences happened. In fact, look at us, Yeshua's church. Today, the Lord has told us unequivocally, unequivocally, that when Israel returns as, an, as a nation and when Jerusalem is retaken from the Gentiles, things that have occurred actually in fairly recently in history, this is the sign, we're told, we are living in the last days. This is the sign. We are told that Jerusalem and the land of Israel will become a cup of trembling for the whole world. It most certainly has become that. When in all of history was Jerusalem at any other time a cause for anybody but the Israelites to tremble in fear? Oh, the Jews aggravated the daylights out of the Babylonians and the Greeks and the Egyptians and the Romans, but never was Jerusalem the center of the world. It wasn't a place where what went on there could destabilize the globe. But it most certainly has become that way in our lifetimes. Well, not some of you, but in mine. We are told that when we see these things happening, to look up. Because our salvation and the end of the world as we know it is near. We've watched these events unfold with our very eyes. We've been forewarned in our Holy Scriptures that this time in history would come. And yet only a relative few within Christ's Ecclesia paid any attention. Very few. Let us vow not to be blind any longer to this incredible time in which we live. Nor be oblivious to what it means, nor passive and how we should respond. In general, when we turn to bli a blind or a disinterested eye towards these events, you know what we're doing? We're behaving just like the Hebrews of old. When God forewarned them of what was coming, and they just kind of sniffed at it. They went on about their lives as usual. And the results were devastating for millions of Israelites. 